due to time constraints, I'm going to have to rush through this one and uh, want to get in a top 40 extra, top, a hot 100 extra as I count down WJRD's top 11 plus 50 survey of October 31st, 1966. But on this one, I'm going to go to Billboard's Hot 100. Let me bring it up for you real quick. Here, let me find the link. The week of January the 15th, 1966. Some of the big hits off of this, My Love of Petula Clark. It's My Life, Mighty Animals, one of my favorite records from the 60s. Another one from the 60s, Lies by the Knickerbockers is on here. Thunderball, A Lost 45 by Tom Jones on this uh, Hot 100. And A Sweet Woman Like You, one of Joe Texas big hits. Uh, and Sandy by Randy and the Rainbows. Uh, Randy and the Daytonas, rather lovely record on this Hot 100. But let's go all the way down to number 63. I do believe. Number 63, Please Don't Find It by Dino, Desi, and Billy. Dino, Desi, and Billy, they were very young when they came out with their records in the mid-60s. They were about 13, 14, not even, not quite 15 years old. Consisted of Dean Dino Martin, the son of Dean Martin, and Desi Arnaz Jr., of course, the son of Desi, of Desi Arnaz. And uh, I can't pronounce this guy's last name. I just hadn't had enough time really to look up the pronunciation of his last name. Billy H. H-I-N-S-C-H-E. They met in grammar school. First edition. They auditioned for Frank Sinatra. Oh boy, that must have been tough. <laughs> oh gosh. Even though even though they were sons of celebrities, and particularly Dean Dino Martin, the son of Dean Martin, who was on Frank Sinatra's record label, Reprise record label. But they did come up with several hits in the mid-60s. Now, for the most part, they did not play their own instruments on, on the recordings. It was handled by session musicians, might have been by the Wrecking Crew, and several producers, they worked with several producers, including Billy Strange, Lee Hazelwood, Lee Hazelwood, best known for working with Nancy Sinatra, and Jimmy Bowen, who worked with Frank Sinatra, produced Strangers in the Night by Frank Sinatra, and produced some hit records by Dean Martin as well. And uh, their biggest hits... I'm a fool was a big hit. Well, was a fair was a fair sized hit by them. That was in 1965, by, uh, and also I wrote down the name of another hit record they had. I, I, I can't remember it from the top of my head. Trying to go through my chicken scratch. Well, they had a couple of hit records. This record right here got a little bit of rockabilly in it. Got got the Beatles harmonies. Got that British invasion harmonies sailed into this uh, mix too. But uh, not really strong enough to be a top forty hit. They just they never they were sort of a they were they were pretty popular, but they they were not we're not talking the same league league as Rolling Stones or even the Hermits Hermits. But still, nice to hear some of their stuff though. Uh, it's uh, going back to Billboard's Hot One Hundred. This record, please don't fight it. Only got as high as number sixty. That's it. Went it was on Billboard's Hot One Hundred for seven weeks. But still a gem, just the same. Love these Lost 45s. Please Don't Find It by Dino, Desi, and Billy.